everyone, it's Allie here. Welcome back to my channel. So you get these roses from a cute guy. You don't know the title of you guys yet, but you get these beautiful roses. Now what do you do? Do you give him a kiss on the lip, a kiss on the cheek, or a kiss on the forehead, or do you even kiss him at all and just thank him politely? Okay, now the situation was first and you were giving him these roses, which I normally give him the roses. I'm like the rosy type, oh uh, yeah. What would he do? Would he give you a kiss on the lips, a kiss on the cheek, a kiss on the forehead, or would he even kiss you at all? If he was to do any of the kisses listed below, what do they mean? Your mind soon to wonder because it's not like you're titled anything, but you're just wondering. Well, that's why I'm here to talk to you about what his kiss really means. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, definitely go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up, and let's just jump right into it. First kiss that we're gonna be talking about is the forehead kiss boring, right? Well, simple things first. The forehead kiss normally means that you guys are just friends or he's showing a deep affection to you. Depending on how it's projected, it can also be a sign of deep affection. A lot of people use it as a beginning kiss when they first meet somebody new and they want to show them that they like them. And since I'm sure and if I want to kiss them, all I have to do is literally turn up my head like this and instant lip locking. Yeah. Sometimes you can use short short problems to your benefit. The next kiss is the cheek kiss. So he kissed you on the cheek with a closed mouth. This could be used as a couple of things. The first one that comes to mind is a flirt. Also show a friendly greeting or say bye to someone that you love. Like most of the time when I say goodbye to my mom or my sister, I normally go, love you, and I like kiss them on the cheek. Or you have like those really big exaggerated kiss like, Mwah. Mwah. This kiss is the peck. Oh, this one sounds so innocent. Peck is a quick, tight lipped kiss on the cheeks or lip. It usually means friendship or it can spark love between you and your lover. Oh my gosh, I'm so weird. When I go to the gym, I'm like, do you see the peak? I actually say, do you see the peck? And then this one time I was talking to this guy and I was like, do you see the peak? I'm like, do you see the peck? I'm like, I'm not talking about this peck. I'm talking about this peck. I'm like, I mean the peak. I'm so weird. Well, so the next kiss is the Eskimo kiss. Sometimes it is used for children and parents as showing as affection or it's a fun flirty way to flirt with. You know. It requires rubbing his nose against your nose back and forth. This kind of kiss could mean a few things. The number one thing that comes to mind is that he's trying to be flirty, which is so cute. This type of kiss has its origin from the Eskimo, hence the name Eskimo Kiss. We both forgot to mention, forgot to mention, and you, Lingering lip kiss. His tongue is not used in this kiss at all. This kiss shows a sign of deep love. And could mean he wants more of where this is coming from, but he doesn't know the boundary of if you want it or not. So it's kind of like he's like edging towards it. Is it okay to be aggressive? Is it okay to go in for something more than what he might be doing? Or will you look like the sleeves bag? There's a boundary between all of this and sometimes you just have to figure it out. What are your guys' opinions on that? Like if he was to lock lips with you for longer than 20 seconds, but then you were like, okay, well let's go the next step. And you like actually did the tongue or whatever. And like, would that be too much? Would that be too far? Would that be too affectionate? Is does he want to do that first? You know, like, or does it make you look like a sleaze bag? There's so many questions that wander a girl's head. Like, guys, if you're watching this video, that's what's wandering our heads. I mean, like, I know there's a lot in your heads too, but yeah, the earlobe kiss. When he takes your earlobe between the lips and tugs it gently upwards or downwards, kiss can be made more intense by gently rubbing on the tongue in a circular motion on the earlobe. This means he's trying to be romantic with you and can lead to further passion. Lead to further passion, ladies. The teaser kiss. So this kiss starts from your forehead, down to the lips, down to the arms, back up and starting at your lips and back up at your forehead. This kiss can be quite useful when it means he's trying to turn you on. If it doesn't work, then you guys just don't have chemistry and you should probably ditch him because that's a lot of effort. I'm afraid of the dark. 
The vampire kissing. This is when he randomly bites down on your lip while he's kissing you. Thinking it's sexy. Well, it is to a certain point. Sometimes there's that just that line that you're just like, boy, that's my lip, you know? Like, he just gets so lost in the moment that he just doesn't even realize what he's doing sometimes. So this means that he's deeply in love. He's deeply infatuated with you. He's so infatuated that he's going to bite your lip off and then all of a sudden he's gonna have blood in his mouth and it's gonna be like, oh sh- So last but not least kiss that we're gonna talk about is the French kiss. The French is said to be the most romantic kiss. Well, it is named French kiss. A French kiss is in play when his tongue touches your tongue. This is why it's also known as tongue kiss. But French kissing sounds way cuter than tongue kissing. This kiss is very easy to do, but it takes years to master. You know, if you're locking lips like this with somebody that you're you know if you're locking lips with someone like this and you both are enjoying it, you know there's some hardcore crushing in the air. Except if you're in the mall. If you're in the mall and you're doing this one, like I've seen so many people in the mall and they're just like standing there in the middle of the mall, literally like in the middle of the smoothie store. Lip locking, hardcore kissing. And so yeah, that concludes my video on what his kiss really means. If you were to get those roses now, what kiss would you plant on him? Comment down below and let me know what kiss you would probably do if you got a dozen of roses or would you not kiss them all? Let me know in the down bar. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. And if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to see more random videos like these, definitely go right ahead and subscribe. I upload new videos every single Saturday, so you don't want to miss those. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. I love you guys. Are you a virgin? Or how far have you gone with a guy?